Dear students, in this question, it is being asked that using Rutherford model of the atom, derive the expression for the total energy of the electron in the hydrogen atom. And uh, it's also saying ki what is the significance of total negative energy possessed by that electron. So now just uh, let's kind of visualize what is happening here. So we say this is the, the nucleus which has a positive charge here and uh, electron uh, is performing a circular motion about this. So definitely it is it is moving with a velocity v and uh, in a circular circular orbit. Now because it is doing circular motion it has some kinetic energy and because of electrostatic potential energy between uh, this charge and this charge there is uh, uh, the electrostatic potential energy also so let's try to compute both of them so let's see so here first of all the rutherford model of atom considers the atom as an electrically neutral sphere consisting of a very small massive and positively charged nucleus at the center surrounded by the revolving electrons in their respective dynamically stable orbits the electrostatic force of attraction see the electrostatic force of attraction is equal to uh, uh, the centripetal force like this is the this is the force of attraction which is providing the centripetal acceleration for it to perform circular motion so we can easily say that this force of attraction due to electrostatics is equal to the centripetal force so when we do this we can write this as mv square by r now v is the velocity tangential velocity of the electron mass uh, this is the mass and this is the radius the, the distance between the, the two so we write mv square by r is equals to this is the centripetal force is equals to the um, 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught now this is the coulombic force between uh, the two charges e square by r so here r and r gets cancelled and we get the value of r as r equals to e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught m v square now we know that the kinetic energy is half m v square so let's calculate what is the potential energy here. So from this equation, we can say that half m v square is nothing but equal to e square upon 8 pi epsilon naught r. So this is the kinetic energy. So one energy of, uh, of this electron we have already computed. That is a kinetic energy. Now it is very simple to calculate the electrostatic potential energy. So we use the formula directly. So the electrostatic potential energy between them is minus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught minus e square upon r. That is k into q1 q2 by r. So because one of the charge is negative. So this is negative. This electrostatic potential energy is negative. So one of the energy that we calculated is electrostatic potential energy. The other one is the kinetic energy. Now, so now the total energy will be the addition of the two. Now what we do is we write total energy. Total energy is equals to kinetic energy plus electrostatic potential energy which will be equal to E square upon 8 pi epsilon naught r minus e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught r now we see that this this term is double of this term so the total energy that we are getting is negative so here we have even showed that the total energy is uh, negative that was there in the question so this is the significance so this is the total energy that we have calculated so this will be the answer to our question here. So the only co concept we've used is that the electrostatic uh, force of attraction should be equal to the centripetal force 
so we calculated the kinetic energy like this and this is the electrostatic potential energy and the total energy all three energies are there in front of us now 